Hello and welcome to Glassnode Academy. Today we're going to be looking at a concept called spent output lifespan, and in particular the ASOL and the MSOL metrics, which is the average and median of spent output lifespan. So we'll very quickly run over what spent output lifespan is and what kind of inputs it has, what kind of segment of the market this is actually looking at, what are we looking to provide insight on, and how we consider the ASOL and MSOL metrics in our market analysis. So very simply, if we've got three unspent transactions on the network, one was created 100 days ago, one was created 60 days ago, and one created five days ago for varying amounts of BTC. When those are all spent, let's assume they're all spent on the same day, we've got our lifespans of those 100 days, 60 days, and five days. It ignores what the actual volume of the coins is. It purely looks at how old the coin was from when it was first created to when it's then been spent. So that's the concept of spent outputs. It's the coins that were spent on that particular day. And the lifespan is how old the coin is from when it was last moved. So when we look at two metrics, ASOL and MSOL, the key metric input is time. We're looking at how old those spent UTXOs are, and we look at all of the spent UTXOs on that particular day to see how old they were on aggregate. But what we're actually looking to track in general for the ASOL metric or the average SOL, we're looking at old coins being on the move because when you've got lots of old coins on the move, it will bring up the average lifespan. And the median, which is taking more of the middle of the road or the, the middle value of all of those spent lifespans, it will look at a typical coin age or essentially a middle age spent. So this is trying to look at what does the day-to-day -day traffic look like? What is the most common value? What is the middle of the road? And in terms of some key values for the average spent output lifespan, when we have high values, it means that lots of old coins are on the move, bringing up the average, and a low value is typical of more day-to-day -day traffic. And for the median sole, we're looking at when old coins are dominating. When you're getting a high value, it means that there's of the, the total pool of lifespans that were spent, the larger majority of them were, were high values. There's a larger pool of high values. And when it's fairly low, it means that young coins, more day-to-day -day traffic are dominating. So you'll get signals and spikes from both of these two values. So let's quickly jump into the charts and we'll have a look at how we apply these in practice. So here we are in Glassnode Studio, looking at the ASOL metric, average spent output lifespan. And we can notice two things. There's a general baseline pattern. So this general tr linear trend that's heading upwards, which is essentially as old, more older coins are in the system, the longer the, the Bitcoin protocol is around. What we're looking for is these peaks. So I've got a 30 day moving average applied here just to really make these stand out and cut out a lot of the noise. And you can see that these peaks generally occur around large rallies or in periods of volatility during bear markets. So this is showing that more older coins are coming onto the market and moving around and giving a little bit of an insight that there's some of those older coins selling into strength or taking advantage of, uh, of some kind of market volatility. And in a very similar nature, we're looking at the median spent output lifespan or the MSOL metric, again, with a 30-day moving average applied. And we can see the same. We can see this general linear trend to the upside. And what we're looking for is these larger peaks, which are saying that of the total amount of coins that are moving, a larger volume of those happen to be of the older nature. So what we're looking for is this break higher from the trend line to tell us something about what those older coins are really doing when they're starting to come back to life. And you can see that it generally occurs around periods of volatility. So thanks for tuning in. That's the uh, overview of the spent output lifespan and the MSOL and ASOL metrics.